For those of you guys that have been following along, you know that Amy and I lived out of this camper for a year and a half while we traveled down to Panama and back. But something that we always talked about during that time living in this little camper was what we would do differently if we gave ourselves the chance to start over and gave ourselves more time to do the build. So we're starting a new build, which means we gotta tear apart the old camper. So I've taken all the nuts off the bolts holding the awning on, but it is still really stuck on there. That Sika Flex from four and a half years ago is still doing its job. I got all the parts off the camper that I think I might be able to use for the next build. And now I'm gonna do an impact test on this camper because I think I'm gonna use a lot of the same materials for the next build. But since I have the opportunity, I might as well actually test the strength of this one. All right, so this one was with the claw hammer. You can see a little bit of denting. But still, Structurally good. This was with the chisel hammer. You can hear when I push on it that it's delammed from the wood a little bit. And this one, where I hit extra hard, actually cut through the fiberglass here. And then these were with the mini sledge. Pretty similar to the claw hammer where it's just dented in, but still seems pretty strong. I'm pretty happy with the results of my little test and I'm feeling that much more confident that I'm gonna use these materials, even though I know I'm gonna catch some flack from people on the internet for using kind of budget stuff that you can get at like a big box home improvement store instead of using fancy marine grade plywood and such. But Whatever, we're on a budget, it's a budget build. That's what we're gonna do. It's a little bit sad to say goodbye to the camper since it was our home for a year and a half and we had some really good memories from when we lived in this truck. But it's exciting to be doing another build and meeting some new challenges, trying to meet some pretty lofty goals as far as what the new build is planned to be. 